I want to talk on you about the future. This is so corny. I love it. The musical is better. But then, I might be a little biased. You guys need anything? Food? Blankets? Nah, I'm good. Victor? Hey, shit stick. You still with us? Hmm? Uh, no. No, sorry, I'm fine. Are you, though? I am fine! Just give me a few more minutes. Let me finish my notes. Uh, did one of you guys... Nope. Looks like Victor's ghost is just a basketball fan. Or not. Sorry. Don't be. It's not like you make it happen. Besides, it could be worse. Don't push your luck. Now can I please just... Buxley area code. It's probably just spam, dude. But what if it's not? They can track your location. They probably just know we were up in Maine when we visited Ingleside. Should I answer it? You can if it would make you feel better. <laughs> just don't give the ghost your social security number. Yeah, ha ha. Hello? Victor? Wait, Professor Crane? Christine, good. You're there too. Listen, I need- Hold on. Hello? Anyone want to tell me how people keep getting my number? Is that something we can talk about? Does it just show up in people's contacts? Do people just close their eyes and my phone number appears in their dreams like the visions of a particularly useless prophet? Is nothing sacred? Am I- Victor, we don't have a lot of time. I need you to listen to me, okay? Do you have your mother's journal with you? I- uh, Yeah? Is this about the symbol you were looking at? No, not, not exactly, but another one. What? Which one? What are you- I don't know. I don't know. My knowledge is very limited. But one of them is your key, okay? You might be able to bind her somehow. Who? The woman in the sweatshirt. The Red Death. Wait. How do you know- You need to hurry. You understand me? And Christine? Are, are you familiar with Act 4, Scene 6 of Hamlet? Not off the top of my head, but- Anyone want to tell me what the fuck that was? Professor Crane recognized one of these when we went to Ingleside. He wouldn't say anything else about it. One of the others- SHIT! There are four more! Which one is it? What even is it? Victor, even if we figure out which one binds her or whatever, A. We don't really know what that means, and B. We have no idea how to do it. I- I, I know, I- God, I, I can't do this. I, I can't do this. I don't know anything. I don't know what any of this means. And there are just more and more pieces and none of them are fitting together. And I It's okay. It's just trick-or-treaters. Probably the kids from down the hall. They were telling me the other day how excited they were. Wait. Wait, no, that... That's it. That's what? This. She intends to besiege the masquerade. What does that mean? Victor? Where did you get this? Henry, you... You know the Prosperos, right? Those rich assholes in Ellicott Heights? Exactly. They... My parents used to go over there every year, remember? For the Halloween party. For the freaking Halloween party! So that's where she's gonna be, then? I think... I think she's planning on killing someone. Maybe everyone, I don't know. I, I need to get over there. And then what? You want to just run in there without a plan? Also, what's this I crap? Exactly. There's a woman there who is actively trying to murder people, and we don't have time to sit around and come up with theories on the best way to go about all of this. I'm not putting either of you at risk by throwing you into the middle of it. And we're not letting you just jump in alone so that she can kill you. Yeah, sorry. You're gonna have to find another outlet for your martyr complex. I'm not going to be responsible for you guys getting hurt. No, you're not. If anything happens, that's on us. Now come on. We're gonna need costumes. You guys ready? Yeah, but is this a cool party or a boring rich people party? Not sure. I've never been. But I can make a pretty good guess. Uh, 
boring rich people party then. So what's the plan? We go in, we find her, then what? Figure we scope it out, get as much information as we can, and once we think we have what we need to stop her, we go for it. So basically, we have no plan. Well, would you look at who we have here? Mr. Frankenstein, always a pleasure. Mr. Prospero, good to see you again. I didn't think you'd make it. I haven't heard from you in a while. Your father, either. Yeah, he... I've been calling him, but he never seems to have his phone on. Not very professional, if you ask me. But we all have our quirks, I suppose. Is he here? I haven't seen him yet. How is he? Dead. I'm sorry? He's dead. Has been since February. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that. I imagine you and your sister will be inheriting quite a bit. Right, yeah. Oh, and who might you be? Christine. Friend of mine we met in school. Ah, yes, that's... debacle. And from what I hear, you were always such a smart boy. Shame things went that way. You could have had such a bright future. Now hold on! And this must be Elliot. Different than I pictured. Cute couple, though. I, no. No, this is Henry. Another friend. Oh, I see. What? Nice to meet you. Mr. Prospero, a moment. Yes, of course. You three enjoy yourselves. And Mr. Frankenstein, I do hope you've left any lighters at home. I do not like him. No one likes him. I changed my mind. We can let him die. Joking! Jesus! You see her anywhere? We can rule out anyone who has their face showing, I guess. So that still leaves about, hmm, 50% of the people here. Still don't know what we're going to do when we do find her. Maybe I'll just throw the book at her and hope for the best. Best case scenario, it works. Worst case, you piss her off and she kills you. Hmm. So it's a win-win. Man, please don't. Right. Sorry. Where do we start? Anywhere, I guess. What even is this? No idea. Rich boy, what the hell is this fancy shit they're trying to pass off as food? Looks like carpaccio. Is that word supposed to mean anything to me? Basically, it's raw beef. Please tell me you're joking. Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. You good, dude? Yeah, I... I thought she looked familiar for a second. You want to say hi? No, I... I think I'm thinking of someone else. Plus, life or death mission, remember? Are we positive she's going to be here? There's got to be a hundred parties going on tonight. I will admit, I didn't think of that. Oh, Jesus Christ. For the record, neither of you said anything about it until right now either. <laughs> if... Do you really think I was wrong? If she's somewhere else, then... To so much as tell me who you are, I have half a mind. Was that? Prospero, yeah. I see what friends. Get away from him. Shit. Leave us. What? Frankenstein wants to speak. I can see it. Give him the privacy to do so. Guys, do it. Fuck you. We... Henry? Just do what she says. Why are you doing this? This is my sole purpose in the 
harrowing phantasm. That is reality. It is all that I am. It is all that I ever will be. Not all things have a why to explain themselves. A wound festers because bacteria know only the desire to repopulate. They are not dictated by a why. They simply are. Such is the case with me. And the others like me. Others. Do not get too far ahead of yourself, child. For the moment, we have but you and me. Think not of which does not yet concern you. Fine. Whatever. Then, then what did she know? What did she figure out? For God, tell me why you killed my mom! All things die, child. Your mother was no different. No. No, you said- But mine was the last voice she heard before her death. The same can be said for countless others. Everyone who falls ill with no chance of recovery. I greet all those whom I infect. There is nothing noteworthy in that. But you gave her the cancer. I did. So then why her? Why anyone? Why the doctor who could save so many lives? Why the child with so many more years of opportunity ahead of them? Why the mother whose passing would break the mind of her eldest son? There is no reason, child. So many people have learned what your mother did. We did not take them to quell their curiosity or halt their progress. We took them because we take all things, regardless of her work. Your mother was nothing remarkable in my eyes, and neither are you. Fuck you! How did it? work? Seems to have. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That seems like it was way too easy. And anticlimactic. You know, at this point, I don't care. I just... I just want to go home. Hey, you still up? Yeah. Couldn't sleep. Probably has something to do with the three energy drinks you downed earlier. Yeah, probably. When did you see him? Hmm? The note. Did you really think I wouldn't recognize his handwriting? A few nights ago. At the cemetery. And he wanted to help? I wouldn't go that far. He was exceptionally vague. Did he say anything about me? A bit. You were right. About what? He's in love with you. I can tell. You don't leave me. I'll miss you. You go. Is that right? You think it's over? All the crazy stuff? Honestly, no. It's like I said, it seemed too easy. And no offense, but when has anything you've been involved in been easy? That's true. Do you? No. No, some of the stuff she said... We're just scratching the surface. She made it seem like things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. 
We'll figure it out, though, okay? This was just step one. We don't know how long a process it'll be, but we'll get there. Try to get some sleep, okay? Okay. And Victor? She'd be proud of you. I sure am. That went smoothly. I appreciate all your help, Ichabod. Though I do have to say, I was a bit upset at that last little comment to the girl. But then, <laughs> what can she 